Hey y'all, it's Tuesday, 2.30 in the afternoon, and I've been super lazy all day. I was actually super lazy all weekend. After CJ little snicker ball, I had so many plans to get things done for the weekend, y'all, and I didn't do nothing. I was lazy. I did cook on Saturday. I cooked baked chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And yesterday, no, it's not Tuesday, y'all. It's Monday. It's Monday, 2.30 p.m. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking it's Tuesday. So I cooked on Saturday, and I cooked Sunday dinner. It was just Mother's Day with rice, and they wanted black eyed peas. Just I love him some black eyed peas. Y'all know we from North Carolina and we country. He had on buy him some black eyed peas, and I cooked them with some cornbread, and it was so good, y'all. I ate it again for lunch today. But when I say we don't have any groceries, I mean we are out, okay? I've been putting off going to Sam's Club. I've been spending too much money in Harris Teeter. The kids didn't even have really anything for lunch this morning. I had to go to Harris Teeter, and I spent like $40. But we not doing that again today. So I made myself get it together. We about to go on Sam's Club. And then I was thinking about going to Walmart. But I don't think I'm going to do Walmart. I'm going to do Food Lion. And I want to make some salmon cakes. Kind of like crab cakes tonight. So I might have to stop at Harris Tita. Because they had the best prices on salmon. Now I feel like every time I go on Sam's Club. I overdo it. And I really want to sit to a budget of $300. Really I'm just getting juice for them kids. Lunch boxes. Bread. I'll probably get milk, maybe eggs, and some chips, and like a sweet snack. But $300, $350, that's the goal in Sam's Club today, y'all. Come on. Every time I come to Sam's Club, I forget. I have to show my little membership card, and I have to re-download the app. I'll be taking it off my phone because I need the extra storage. But I just downloaded it, so we're going to see how quick we can get in and out of here. It's around 2.30, and I really want to be back home by like... 435 at the latest so I can cook real quick. We're gonna cook a meal to take less than an hour and we can have dinner done by like six-ish and we can get on with the rest of our night. Cause I told y'all I've been lazy today. Grab us a cart. Maybe not that one. Let's try this one. They got fake sales going on. Instant saving sales. Watch me spend more than 350 y'all. Josiah wants a gaming computer for Christmas. And I told him I was gonna get him one. This one $899. Hopefully they knock about $300 off of that for Black Friday. They got this gas griddle. I think this is like a black stone. I saw a 28 inch black stone for like $200 though. But y'all, I think I'm gonna get me one of these. I'm gonna say I want this as one of my Christmas gifts. Cause I want to be outside cooking in the summertime, and y'all tell me to get that man a grill. This one is three hundred. This looks real nice, but I don't know if he likes propane. I feel like he likes charcoal grills. Instead of getting a bowl box this time, I'm gonna get the cool and tangy mix, and I'm gonna eat the sun chips. I try to switch up their snack stuff, but I don't know. I think this is a good box right here too. Even though it's only 30 bags, the bags are bigger. But I don't think I'm gonna get those. I'm also gonna get a box of high fries. They love high fries. Oh yeah, wait well, y'all. We'll just call it $40. And we only got two boxes of chips. But let's keep going. Oh, I feel like we've already gotten like every snack so when i try to mix it up it's kind of hard because everything is the same i don't know but we're gonna look around oh last time i got these i think they liked them so we'll get another box of this that puts us at 47. we haven't gotten little bites in a few rounds so let's get some little bites 57. Y'all, I'm tempted to buy this jar of pickled eggs. I used to love pickled eggs when I was little, but I feel like we're not gonna eat that many, so I don't wanna pay $18 for it. Now, what I didn't fool with was no pickled sausage. I've never been a fan of meat. This could be a cute little snack, and if they don't eat them, I will. We got the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Dip Pretzels for $7. So we're gonna say, I know lost count, y'all. 20, 40, 50, 57, 84. We'll just say $85. 
last time we got these soft cookies these were good so i'm gonna get another box it only has 28 pouches but it's 11 dollars. so we're at about 96. y'all i said 96 i thought that was a bit high i can't count 20 40 50 57 plus another seven is 64 74 74 dollars and i'm gonna double back around and grab these oatmeal cakes they're ten dollars but it's 50 of them in there cj like these i like these too i just don't like a lot of the icing i'd be squeezing the icing out i like the oatmeal cake part i use a lot of lemon juice to clean my chicken and stuff i'm gonna grab this because this two pack is six dollars so we should be at 90. This chicken brother is only $5 and we fry a lot of chicken. So I'm gonna get this big bag, that's cheap. Y'all, I just checked my skin and go. We are at 94.13 for nine items. So about $10 per item. I need some sugar. They have a 10 pound bag for $7.28, but I don't think I want that. I'll just get a five pound bag for $3 at the store. That's a little bit too much sugar. Let's go ahead and get some oil since we're here. I think I still have um, one whole bottle left. But since we're here, let's get it. And this is what I really been wanting to come get, y'all. The Uncle Ben's Rice 12 pound bag. It lasted forever last time. And like the two pound box is like $5. Just like the best deal Sam's got. I have a bunch of cereal, but CJ loves Frosted Flakes now. So he asked for some Frosted Flakes. I'm gonna go ahead and get this double box for $7.88. Oh, y'all just caught my eye. Somebody put it back. I like tinted lip balms. I wonder how they really look though. This is not what we're in here for. Our budget is $300. Keep it going, keep it moving. <laughs> I don't think we need any more cereal, y'all. Honey, I think I'm okay on honey right now. What else should we get? some fruit cups let's see i knew it was gonna happen they still don't have the mango cups we still have peach cups left i don't know if the kids really like the peach cups this is peaches mixed fruit and oranges for 8.98 16 um i'm not gonna get them in with these i don't get these because they don't like the orange ones they only like the one with the peaches in it so we're not gonna get those out of here Maybe they'll have something at Food Lion. All right, last time we came, we got Gatorade as the juice. Apparently, Josiah is over Gatorade right now. He doesn't want that. And y'all, I don't even see the little apple juices we normally get. Sam's Club keeps switching stuff up. Oh, I don't know what to get. I think I'm gonna get a pack of body armors and Maybe some Kool-Aid jammers. I don't know, we're gonna see. Okay y'all, car getting full. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the stuff and when we get home, we will do a haul. Y'all, I don't think we gonna make our budget. Being out of pepper jack cheese is wild. I guess we're gonna get this four cup of turkey though. All right, y'all, our car is loaded. I did everything on scan to go. I should be able to walk out the door and be good and ready to go. So I don't think I'm getting nothing else because can't nothing else fit. Y'all, this is why I don't like coming to Sam's Club by myself. Putting this stuff in the car is hard. 
and I got too much stuff in my trunk and it's hot. It's a lot going on. I guess we're gonna start with putting the heavy stuff on the bottom. That's what makes sense. All right, you guys, the car is fully loaded. I'm contemplating going to food lane or going home. We're going to see. Okay, y'all, I feel like Sam's Club was a success. Y'all see all the stuff we got back there. I am at food lane. I decided to just go ahead and get it over with. I need to just get, like, some butter, some cheese, some juices for the house, like, bell peppers, onions, not major stuff out of here. So, maybe we can stick to a budget of, like, $100, $150. Um yeah i'm not gonna have a lot of places to put this stuff anyway so we don't need to go over i'm looking at food line sign they got say turkeys for 29 cents a pound but i don't have anywhere to store a turkey i always get my turkey like two days before thanksgiving because my refrigerator is so small and i can't just have it sitting in there all the time and i know people to get like coolers filled with ice and leave them turkeys in there for a lot, like a week i just don't know about that but we're gonna run a food line y'all and see if we can stick the budget in here I always feel like getting a smaller cart is gonna help me get less items. It don't really be working out for me though, but we all see. For Dave's killer rolls, bring it all together for a holiday spread everyone will love. Green grapes are $149 a pound. These are kind of small, but I'm still gonna get a bag. I need some baby carrots. Get a couple bell peppers just in case we need them. We need some tomatoes. I'm just gonna get this little vine right here. Cucumber for our salad. Green onions because we love them. Some garlic because I think I might be out. Store brand ranch. We getting some food line ranch dressing. We did good, y'all. I didn't really get anything. I know this is less than a hundred. All right, y'all. Ninety-seven sixty-eight in food line. I really thought it was gonna be a little cheaper than that, but it's okay. I really want to go to Harris to them and get me some shrimp, but I don't feel like stopping. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it on the drive and see how I feel when we hit the exit.